John McCain making new efforts to close a polling gap that so far refuses to budge more than a point or two. His new argument, what happens if Democrats win and win big? Two first for Sarah Palin, her first major policy speech today. And on the flip side, her first time answering questions under oath about the so-called Troopergate affair. Barack Obama in Hawaii off the campaign trail while he visits his ailing grandmother. We begin, though, with John McCain scrambling on the trail for us tonight. CNN's Candy Crowley. On an uphill climb in the Rocky Mountains, John McCain warns against what many Republicans now fear, across-the-board Democratic wins. The answer to a slowing economy is not higher taxes, but that's exactly what's going to happen when the Democrats have total control of Washington. Facing an intimidating electoral map, a shrinking pool of undecideds, and a dwindling number of days, McCain pushes on two fronts, the Joe the Plumber argument. You know, Senator Obama may say he's trying to soak the rich, but it's the middle class who are going to get through the ringer. And the national security card played in a new ad featuring Joe Biden. We're going to have an international crisis to test the metal of this guy. I guarantee you it's going to happen. It doesn't have to happen. Vote McCain. Even as McCain scrambled to shake things up, his running mate gave her first major policy speech on programs for special needs children. And don't worry one bit about any crying baby. That's the sound of life. I love it. Still, in a bout of awful timing McCain can't afford, Sarah Palin spent part of her day giving a deposition and a probe of whether she abused her power as governor in the firing of a top safety official. Barack Obama walked almost alone in his old neighborhood in Honolulu, part of a somber journey home to visit his ailing grandmother. Michelle Obama lent an assist in Ohio, where the polls look good, but angst runs high. It will be close. Don't be fooled. We do not look at the polls. We don't listen to anything. We know that every moment counts. We take nothing for granted. Still, there is a difference between overconfidence and feeling good, and they do feel good in Camp Obama. In another signal of where advisors see expanding opportunities, Joe Biden was in West Virginia. I know Halloween is coming, but John McCain as a candidate of change, whoa, come on. John McCain in change, he needs a costume for that. Thank you. Also out and about for Obama, a former President Bill Clinton in Kentucky and Hillary Clinton in Colorado. Obama strategists say the information they have from officials in early voting states is that Democrats are voting at far higher rates than Republicans compared to 2004. Just another reason for that feel-good feeling in the Obama campaign. Candy Crowley, CNN, Washington.